Hey guys, it's Kevin again, and this is my review for Outlander Season 1, Episode 5, Rent. And wow, this episode was amazing. Definitely very different from the past four episodes we've seen. Definitely a lot more intense, a lot more action going on this episode. Um, the first half, not so much, but the second half, yes, it got really intense after the second half, and I was really enjoying this episode a lot, I was really into this episode, definitely the best episode of the season, really loved it, and just, wow, what a great episode. So, this episode mainly focused on Claire, um, you know, the difference with this episode and the others is that this one didn't take place at Castle Leoc at all, this one took place, um, on the road, you know, Dougal is trying to get the money, He's trying to collect money, and uh, he made Claire go on that trip with them, basically, you know, because she's the healer. She's there to heal people in case they get hurt or anything. So, she is, um, we see Claire, she's reciting a poem to an open landscape, and Ned Gowen is joining in. And Ned Gowen is a new character we meet, and um, we actually find out a lot about his character here. He is the Mackenzie clan's lawyer. He is along on the rent trip to collect funds and keep a written account of it. That's why he's there, basically. So, um, in the midst of Claire and Ned's conversation, we're introduced to Willie, who is a member of the clan. And it's also, it's also his first time on the rent trip. And Claire uses her herbal knowledge with Ned's asthma, because Ned has very bad asthma. She really wants to help him with that. And we hear Dougal and the friends sing abilities, and they're pretty good singers. I thought they were uh, good singers overall. I thought, I thought they were good singers. So yeah, that was, that was good to see. So Claire and Ned, they continue their conversation, and Claire learns of why Ned came to the Highlands, basically, because obviously she wants to know why would he come to the Highlands. Basically, this is why he came to the Highlands. He grew tired, he moved north to search for adventure, and he ended up lawyer for the Mackenzie clan, starting with Colin's father, Jacob. That's why he is, um, basically, he, that's why he came to the Highlands, because he, um, you know, wanted to be, he wanted to search for adventure. So, that's why he's there. So basically, you know, um, then, so basically, while, of course, while this is happening, though, we are reminded that Claire is still trying to get back to the Stones and the 20th century, and the only reason she's there is because she is getting closer to Craig and Dune. She still wants to find out how to get back there, and it's good that we have this narration. I know some people complain about it, but the thing is, we, we need it at this point because we get into Claire's head, we get to see what she's thinking, and of course, she is still thinking, I gotta get the hell out of here. I don't belong here. I gotta get the hell out of here. That's what she's thinking at this point. So then we see Claire, she's sitting apart from the rest of the group at a stop to eat and sleep, and she glances in the group's direction. She's really bored at this point. She is not, she's bored. They're speaking Gaelic. She does not know what they're saying, but their tone is evident. There is some English spoken, and it's quite funny. It was definitely funny to see. I thought it was a funny scene, because it's like, she is extremely bored. Dougal is speaking in a girly voice. He tells a riddle, and he's making rude gestures towards Willie, and Angus offers Claire a whole cooked rabbit to eat, and it's pretty much taken as a way to intimidate her once again. They're just trying to intimidate her, and, um... But Jamie's there to save the day. Jamie's always there to save the day, and um, he comes over to offer some bread and some kindness. It was a sweet scene to see, definitely. I like I like the um, bonding between Jamie and Claire. I've always liked their bonding. I've always, you know, liked them as friends, and this episode was no exception. I thought this was a good, um, sweet scene, definitely. Um, basically, he talks about that, you know, the only reason they're trying to intimidate her is because, obviously, they still don't trust her. They still think she's an English spy. They just, they don't trust her. It's that simple. They don't trust her. And while he does not think that she's an English spy, he does believe she's not telling them everything, especially since she tried to run at the gathering. Um, so, he trusts her, but he doesn't think that she's an English spy. He just feels there's something she's not telling him. Obviously, there's not, because if she did, she'd sound like a crazy person. I do feel when she tells people that Jamie's going to be the first person to know. I really feel that's what's going to happen here. So at the first stop on the rent trip, Claire experiences what the trip is all about. She stays behind Ned as the villagers come to pay the rent in coin, other goods, or live animals. And Dougal greets and meets with each as they pay, and he invites them all to the local watering hole for a, um, for a dram that night. And Claire walks away from Neil to explore the little village, and she hears women sing. She's very bored at this point. She's just very bored. She does not know what she's doing. She doesn't even know why she needs to be here, because nothing bad is happening. It's literally just Dougal and his men going around. They're not even treating her right. They're not being nice to her at all. So she's obviously bored. She just, she doesn't, and the only person that's really, you know, she's getting along with is Ned. So, 
as much as she likes Ned and everything, it's, she really just wants to be, she just wants to be involved with something, and she's not involved at all, so she walks away, and she goes to this little village where she hears women singing, and she runs into Dolnada, um, Dol, Dolnada, I think her name is, and she is, at first, a bit untrusting of Claire due to her English accent, you know, she doesn't know if she can trust her, she thinks that she is also an English spy. But she invites her to walk wool with herself and the ladies, and she introduces herself to the rest of the ladies. They're also untrusting of her. However, Claire does join the walking of the wool, which includes soaking the wool with hot urine to um, to set the dye. So, basically, um, we, there's a lot of tension going on in this scene, because the women do not trust her, yet she is helping them. They, they don't trust her at this point, though. She has to prove their trust, definitely. So after walking the wold, she retreats with the ladies for alcoholic refreshment, and she learns of Dolnada's child's needs of a goat's milk that was given to Dougal for rent. And Claire uses this opportunity to ask about Craig and Dune, because, you know, she still wants to know what's going on there. Um, however, before, you know, well, even though she's having a good time and everything, unfortunately, Angus finds her, drags her back to the group, and... That's what ended up happening to her. It just, it didn't work out for her. I honestly felt bad for her in that scene. I did, because she was having a good time and Angus had to ruin it. So, Claire, at this point, she is very just, she's, you know, basically very stubborn. You know, she, Grit come forth. She tries to take her, um, the goat back to Dolnada, and she, but she runs up against Dougal. And, um, basically, we see, the, we see this English man that appears, and he asks if everything is all right. And it's only after the conversation between Dougal, Angus, and this man that we learn that he is actually an English dragoon. Um, now, Dougal and the others have already left, so they do not know what the man actually is. Now, this does not sit, this does not, this is not going to go well, obviously. Obviously, this is not going to go well. So then we see Dougal and the group, so they have no idea about this man. They just, they don't know that he's English. They, they just know that there's this man here. They don't realize that he's English, because basically, um, you know, I thought that was definitely a very good scene because, you know, we saw him put, like, a, um, you know, red coat on, the second he put a red coat on, I'm like, oh shit, this is not going to be good. So we see Dougal in the group in a small tavern that night, and Dougal starts a uh, speech in Gaelic, and in the middle of it, he rips Jamie's shirts off to show his back scars. And as we know from previous episodes, Jamie's proud and never shows his back to anyone. You know, he, it's humiliating to him, definitely. It's very humiliating. So Dougal is displaying his scars to everyone in attendance, and it is the, has the effect of garnering more um, donations. Basically, he's doing this to get money. And obviously, Claire is unaware of what Dougal's saying, but she's utterly shocked that he would use his nephew in this way to line his own pockets. Honestly, it is very disturbing how he did this. It really is. It's disturbing how he did that. I felt really bad for Jamie after that. Definitely, I felt bad for him. Especially because of the fact, you know, I, I really felt bad for Jamie because of the fact that, um, just Dougal was doing this to him. I just, I really did feel bad for him because the thing is, um with Jamie, he is very proud, he doesn't like people that really, he's very, he's not, he does not want people to know about the scars on his back, he's only told Claire, you know, he told Claire, look, I've never told anyone about this, I don't want anyone else to know about this except you, so, definitely, I felt really bad for Jamie in that scene, so yeah, I really felt bad for him there, by the way, guys, there's lightning in the background, just deal with it, I forgot to say that, there is lightning in the background, there's a thunderstorm going on outside, I do not care. A lot of shit's going down outside. More shit going down. As much, not as much shit that happened in this episode, but there's still shit going on outside. Um, so basically, the next day, Claire confronts Ned about what Dougal is doing, but Ned does say that she is correct. Um, but Ned does not say that she is correct, nor does he say what is really happening. He doesn't really tell her. So then we have a, a time jump to many weeks later, and the group is coming upon burning homes, and this is the work of this group called The Watch. Now, The Watch are... People who were suspected to be helping the English. They are not, you know, they're not redcoats, but they are the people that are supposedly helping the English. Those are who they are. Um, so, Jamie makes a quick exit since he is wanted, and the Watch would certainly turn him in for a monetary um, reward. Because, you know, the Watch are the people that, um, you know, the, the Watch are the people that um, did the whole thing to his back, obviously. You know, he's basically their little... Um, He's basically their kidnapper, so Jamie's really worried about that. So Claire's opinion, so basically the um, Claire's opinion of Dougal sinks further as he does not help the people, but just takes his part of the spoils. The group then eats the spoils, which are two chickens, but Claire refuses to eat stolen food. It's stolen, obviously. She doesn't want to eat it. So Claire makes a comment that makes Angus very angry, and he lashes out at her. And Jamie is diffusing this, basically, sorry, I'm getting a Skype call. 
Hang on one second, let me just tell my friend I can't talk right now. Um, basically, Jamie defuses the situation and goes after Claire. He tells her that she should not judge what she sees because she does not understand what's going on or how things are done here. Which makes a lot of sense, definitely. Um, and the thing is, you know, Claire was talking to, um, you know, that was definitely um, very big what he said because it makes sense, definitely. She's not understanding what's going on or how things are done, so she shouldn't be, you know, she should not judge what she sees, you know, because of that. So, because she has no idea what's going on, obviously. So basically, we then see another small village, poorer than the others, and we see some compassion in Dougal as he accepts what they can offer and gives food to those in need. It was a nice scene to see because Dougal's usually very... For most of the episode, Dougal's very selfish. It seems like all he cares about is money, and it was sweet to see him actually do something nice. And uh, one family's rent was taken by the English because they raided their house, and that night in the local tavern, Claire finally picks up a word mixed in with the Gaelic Stuarts. This is a reference to Charles Stuart, or Bonnie Prince Charlie, the man the Scottish want back on the throne. You know, they, they want that guy on the throne, and she realizes that the money Dougal has been raising in the taverns is not for himself, but for the Jacobite cause. And we then see a flashback, and this is very, very big, because finally, because this really connects to what Jamie is saying, Claire finally understands what's actually going on here. Basically, she sees a flashback to something that uh, Frank told her. Sorry, guys, I'm fixing my bed here. It's really annoying me. <laughs> um, we see a flashback to something that Frank told her. And basically, uh, Frank and Reverend Wakefield, um, you know, basically the history is explained after that. We, uh, that was, I thought that was definitely a good scene. So Claire then overhears an argument between Jamie and Dougal. You know, there's a lot of intense shit going on between them. And Jamie has had it with the use of his back to raise funds. He's just, he's not happy about it. Obviously, I mean, it's just like he's using his dis he's using, you know, his problem as a way to get money. It just is not the right thing to do. My, you know, I agree with what Jamie is saying. You should not do that. It's not the right thing to do. It's very rude to do that to him. It was just like, honestly, if that would have happened to me, I would be like, no, you are not doing that to me. And Jamie takes his frustration out in a tree, and Claire interrupts him. And there's a lot of flirting going on, it's because Claire's trying to calm down. There's still a lot of flirting going on between them, obviously. So, yeah, so there's a lot of shit going on between Jamie and Dougal. Dougal does not understand, obviously, why Jamie's upset about this, but, um, you know, we can tell why Jamie's upset. So the group then comes across a disturbing sight, and two men on crucifixes, basically the disturbing sight are two men on crucifixes with the letter T carved into their chests. And again, it is the work of the English, and the T stands for traitor. They cut the men down, give them a proper Christian, um, you know, um, burial, and the sight of these men adds to that night's speech by Dougal as he gamers probably more than usual in funds. You know, he get, he, um, gangs a lot more funds, definitely. I thought that was, um, I thought that was good, definitely. I mean, it's good to see, again, it was good to see Dougal not try so hard. He actually got funds. I thought that was a good scene. I definitely enjoyed that. So Claire apparently is, is um, shown some kindness after this. You know, everyone seems to actually be treating her right. I like this scene, definitely. She um, She's shown kindness. She's actually given a room at the tavern to sleep and a bed to sleep in. And she's falling asleep She hears some until she hears some footsteps out the door. And she convinced that someone is coming to do her harm. She is worried about this. She thinks someone's coming to, like, hurt her or something. She rises and she carries a candlestick over to open the door. And she ends up tripping over Jamie lying at the foot of the door. He did this to protect her from the drunken men downstairs, but he will not sleep in the room with Claire as to protect her reputation. Um, and again, this is really just showing, you know, the relationship between them. It's, it's a good scene, definitely. He's a good friend to her, and just, I, I love their friendship, definitely. The, their friendship is definitely one of the best parts of the show. So Claire's breakfast with Ned as a group of men nearly speaking Gaelic as to what we can only be interpreted as rude comments. Um, the Mackenzie group then rises up to defend Claire's honor, and as an all-out brawl, you know, an all-out brawl at this point, they, because they do not want to hear, they are not happy with what they are saying, definitely, they're not happy at all, and, um, they're, they're just, they're not happy about this group of men they're speaking, because they're saying some really rude shit about them, and it's only after that Murtaugh tells Claire what they were doing, what they were saying, and they even called Claire a slut, so, you know, um, you know, they, they called her a slut and everything, and, um, obviously, you know, she's, I, I know, they called her, not a slut, they called her a whore. Um, so, 
obviously there's a it's not good that was that was an awesome scene though when they when that brawl happened it was an awesome scene and we then see claire um tending to the men and it was a very funny scene to watch i definitely really enjoyed that scene i thought it was um definitely fun definitely um so Claire tells Ruber to joke. She learns that they're heading to uh, Colden Moor, and she has another flashback to when her and Frank visited the Colden Memorial site, and she learns what happened there. Basically, something is going. She knows that something is going to happen here, and that is when this episode just got awesome because the second that she learned them, like, oh shit, shit is about to go down, definitely, because. The final scene shows the group. They're becoming more and more trusting and kind towards Claire. They're, you know, they're starting to trust her more. And Dougal lets her go wash by herself, but he follows her to have a discussion about who she is and what her intents are. And their discussion is interrupted by a group of English dragoons led by the Englishman. And Claire and Dougal met in, um, basically this is the same Englishman that Claire and Dougal met in one of the villages. And we learn the man is Jeremy Foster. And he asks her if she's alright, and uh, basically, we get it. he has a big question here, which is she here by her own choice? And uh, she does not respond. So that was huge. That was a great way to end the episode. I love the way to end of the episode. Thought it was awesome. And just, wow, that was such a great way to end the episode. And Dougal just gives her this look, like, do not say a word. That's the look that Dougal gives her. He gives her this look, like, do not say a word. You know what's going to happen if you say a word. Just don't say anything. And overall, this episode was awesome, in my opinion. Just, wow, such a badass episode. This episode had a lot more intense um, stuff than usual. And I like that the show is starting to go down a, a much more intense direction, definitely. Because here's the thing. People still do not trust Claire. Dougal is only now gaining trust from her. He still, in the back of his mind, thinks that she is an English spy. If Claire tells this guy the truth, I am pretty sure he's going to, you know, tell him, oh, that she's an English spy. I'm pretty sure that Dougal's gonna, you know, say that to, um, to the, to, um, now I can't remember this guy's name. Jeremy. You know, he's gonna say that to Jeremy now, so I am pretty sure that's what's gonna happen here, definitely. I definitely feel that, um, is what's gonna happen. So, I definitely feel if, if, if she tells Jeremy the truth, then he's gonna, you know, say what he thinks. And uh, the other thing that's great about this episode is I love the fact that Claire now knows what's going on. She knows that there's some sort of big attack that's about to happen. It's not gonna be good, and it's gonna be just, there, there's definitely gonna be a huge scene in the next episode. A huge war scene, a lot of combat. I personally don't know much about the Scottish Revolution or what's going on there. I personally didn't know what's going on there, but... Whatever Claire learned, it definitely shit's about to go down because um she knows what's going on. Definitely, it's gonna be awesome. Also, apparently she's going to meet up with um Jack Russell in the next episode, who of course is Frank's ancestor. Um, you know she's going to meet up with um was that his name John John Russell I think his name was um no Jack Jack Russell that's what that was his name Jack Russell oh my god now I can't remember his name fantastic. Jack Randall, that's what I meant, Jack Randall. She's going to meet up with him in the next episode, and that's going to be awesome to see. I'm really looking forward to that scene. That definitely is going to be something I'm really looking forward to, and uh, that that's just going to be awesome, in my opinion. I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing that scene, definitely. It's going to be awesome. Um, but overall, this episode was amazing. Love this episode. Also, if Claire does say the truth to someone, if she told someone about the truth, would she, do you think Jamie would be the first person? I really feel if she said anything to anyone about who she is or where she comes from, she's going to tell Jamie. I feel the season finale, she definitely is going to tell Jamie because Jamie needs to know. Jamie's the only person that really she can trust right now because the others are on to her and they're not really nice people. So uh, Jamie's really the only person she can trust right now. Um, and that's really it for my review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I love this episode. Thought it was by far the best episode of the season. And a couple, one more thing I do want to say about this um, review. Um, Jamie, what do you think about Jamie? You know, this, the tension between Jamie and Dougal is very high right now. Do you think that Jamie's going to get more respect from Dougal? I definitely felt Dougal was very disrespectful of Jamie in this episode. Definitely very disrespectful. I also like the development we saw from Ned. Ned was a character we just met in this episode, and we know a lot about him already. You know, we know why he's there. We know things like that. I thought that was cool. I'd like to see more of Ned's character. I like his character. I like the friendship between him and Claire. I like that they got off to a good start. I definitely like that about them. As far as those women go, I don't really think we're going to see them as much again. I, I don't think we're going to. I don't think we're going to see them as much, and um, we'll definitely have to see what happens there. But 
again, I definitely think Dougal, you know, is going to... That trust that Dougal has with Claire, that is not going to stick for that much longer. But um, that's it for my review. Hope you guys... Yeah, so I definitely don't think it's going to last for that much longer. But that's it for my review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in my next review, which will be my review for either another movie review, um, which I'm not going to give away, or for my review of um, the season premiere, the final season of Borok Empire, which I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. So see you guys for that. Okay, bye.